Hey guys and welcome back to your girl Brittany. Thank you so much for joining me today and welcome to the very first video of the hump day handmade now this is something that is hosted by scrappy tate and sharing more and this is bringing you projects that are completely handmade no cutting machine no dies of course you can add those um extra embellishments with your dies and everything but this is great for those who see those items that are made with a cutting machine or they see those items that are made with using dies and having the ability to make it as well not everyone has the resources to go ahead and get a cutting machine or to buy every die that they see so having a way to recreate these great projects and doing it all handmade is an absolute plus you guys know I'm very big on that because there are a lot of things that I don't purchase and that I do make myself anyway and I always bring those ideas to you and so I have another one for you today and this one was inspired by Nicole's paper crafts so let me rewind a little bit so Amy L she had made the milk carton with drawers and it was an SVG that Nicole's paper crafts had created she does a lot of fantastic SVGs and I'll leave a link to her Instagram her Etsy and also to Amy L's video that inspired me to do this and I think it's absolutely awesome now I do believe that the original one for the cutting machine was a lot bigger and you know I like to shrink things down anyway and so here is the cute milk carton with drawers that I made isn't it cute oh my gosh it's so adorable I love this now, um, I can't remember what the original um, sizing is for the one that Amy L had made, but mine is measured to be about four and an eighth across, about five and an eighth deep, and about nine inches tall. So great for Happy Mail. The drawers are one and a half inches deep, and they are four inches wide, so you can store a lot of great happy mail in here and then i do mention in the video that my original measurements for this top part here i did cut it down so like always guys i will have my measurements down below in the description box for you so in that way you can go ahead and have it cut out ready to go and then you can follow along in the video as well so i use the sweet story collection to decorate um, so and great you talented ladies who are participating in this um hump day handmade and i'll have the lineup down below in the description box for you so you can see what fun things that they had came up with that was handmade as well and i just want to say thank you to paulette and ebony for letting me join in on the fun this will be posted last wednesday of every month for the rest of the year so um if you guys have any ideas that you do see out there and that you would like for me to help recreate for you by all means drop me a message and i will do the best i can but if you'd like to see how i come up with this make sure you stay tuned. <laughs> So to do this, there's going to be quite a bit of elements for it, but it wouldn't be any different if you were to do it on the cutting machine. So I'm going to take it step by step on everything that we're going to do. I'll have the measurements and everything for you. And like always, guys, I'll have the measurements down below in the description box. So then you can go ahead and have it prepared and ready to go for when you want to make it yourself. So I'm going to start off by doing the drawers. You're going to need three that are measured at eight by seven. And you are going to score on the seven inch side at one and a half and five and a half. And then you're gonna flip it on your eight inch side and you're gonna score it at one and a half and six and a half. You're gonna need three of those. And then the drawer coverings, you're gonna need three of them that measure 11 and three quarters by six and five eighths. And this is what's gonna cover your drawer so you can go ahead and put everything together. And then on your 11 and 3 quarter side, you're going to score at half an inch, 4 and 5 eighths, 6 and 1 eighth, 10 and a quarter. All right. And so you are going to just go ahead and score or varnish your score lines like you would if you were to create a box. We're going to start with our 8 by 7 and we're going to go ahead and cut our tabs up to the score line. Grab my adhesive and apply it to my tabs.
I didn't even do my <laughs> didn't varnish. Hold on. Let's go ahead and varnish. All right. Starting on the half inch side, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off this little tab that's down here. And cut that piece off. And I'm just gonna do a little minor cut so it's just easier to adhere. And then here we're gonna cut up to the score line. And you can cut off the little pieces at the end if you like, just to make sure it doesn't overlap. And we're going to do the same thing to this square here. So now that we have that, we're going to fold this. So we have our half inch, and then we have our next score line here. I'm going to just fold this over. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna adhere my adhesive or I'm gonna apply my adhesive here and then fold this tab on over. So I apply it onto that half inch tab and then I'm just gonna fold it over. Alright, so now I'm gonna close in my little tabs and I'll fold these over. I'm just gonna cut off a little sliver so that there is no overhang. You don't have to do this. This is just personal reference. Go ahead and I'm going to add my adhesive. Take my bone folder, make sure that's really smoothed out. So now you have a little drawer covering. And then you have the drawer. So now that we have, I already have the first two already done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our adhesive and for this I advise using um, liquid glue because we're gonna glue one on top of one another. So I'm gonna use my trusty Bailey Arts glue and I'm just gonna add if it'll So here is the drawer mechanism so far. So now I'm gonna grab a back panel. Now the back panel, this one I have, I measured it out from four and one eighth by five. This roughly those numbers. You technically want to make sure you measure um, beforehand. Or measure it after you place them together to see how well that they adhere. So you already know that um, the width, and so you just want to make sure of your height. So I wanted mine to be a little bit bigger, so then that way I can go ahead and just remove the slivers of it if I need it to. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna apply glue all over this back. So now we have the back, we have the back covered up. So now you can't tell that there's drawers in the back. We will be eventually covering the sides here as well. Now we're gonna start off, go on to our roof. And this piece measures 11 and 1 8 by four and 1 8 And then on your scoreboard or even your trimmer, what you're gonna do, see it's kinda hard to see. On the trimmer so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pen or you can take your um, scoring tool and you are gonna make a marking pretty much by like 2 and 1 16th oops you can't see that by 2 and 1 16th the 1 16th is the little tiny line directly after the 2 so you're gonna make a mark at 2 and 1 16th you're going to flip it around 
and you're going to do the same thing. Make a mark at 2 and 1 16th. So now I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to fold on this side. I'm going to take my ruler and my scoring tool, and I'm going to meet from that marking to the corner here of this score mark. Make sure I have the corner, and then I'm going to take my scoring tool and press down and bring it on down. Now I'm just going to shift my ruler over to the right, just a smidgen, maybe about half an inch, and I'm going to make a scoring mark again. Just like that. So I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to meet from that, that 2 and 1 16th mark to the corner of my score line. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to shift my ruler over just a little bit, still keeping it in the diagonal, and make my score. So it should look like that. So you're going to repeat this step on this side as well. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm going to take it, take my scissor, and we're going to cut along that second score line, the one that we made after. So we have our notch that we made, our little mark that we made, we drew our score line, and then we shifted our ruler and made that second score line. We're going to cut up, we're going to cut on that score line to remove this little triangle here at the end. And we're going to do that to both sides. Flip around and do the same thing. And so now I'm just going to fold up on those flaps. Now we're going to go back to our drawers here and we are going to adhere this piece on to the top here. So I'm going to take my glue Alright, so that is what we have so far. Now we need to cover this piece up to create our roof here. So you're going to need two pieces of cardstock, both measuring at 10 and a half and 1 and 5 eighths. On the 10 and a half side, we're going to score at 4 and a half and at 8. There might be a little bit of excess on here, and that is okay. I wanted it to be that way just in case it wasn't enough. Again, it's always better to have more than to have not enough. So I'm going to varnish my score lines. So basically what we want to do, this middle piece right here, so you have this smaller, you have this smaller portion, and then you have this middle, and then you have this longer portion. We're going to line up our little tabs here on the side to this middle portion. This is going to be your handle. So if you want to cut something like an actual handle here, or um, like if you want to just apply a die, I suggest you do this part, you do that part first before adhering it to your box. I decided to take a whole punch and just punch out some holes there. And then so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply glue to the side of the tab. Oops, didn't do that very well. And I'm going to line it up. So from corner, to the top of that score line, and I'm just gonna bring it down. Oops. Might have to wiggle it around a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Alright, 
And so now I'm going to adhere this to the side panel. So as you see, this still really wasn't enough to cover up this whole side, but that's okay because when I go ahead and mat this side, you're not going to see that big gap, this big of a gap anyway. So it'll be fine. It'll still hold um, enough stability. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my glue. But if you want to make sure that you have full coverage, then I would change the measurement to maybe 11 inches by 5 and 1 8. And apply that. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing to this other side. Alright, so now we have the drawer milk carton box with drawers. The cute little carrying handle here. You can even trim this down so it can be a little bit shorter if you like. I did do mine a little bit high so I actually, I might actually go ahead and trim mine down. Now that I look at it, I probably won't have it that high. <laughs> but, um, so now of course the fun part is the decorating. So here is my finished product of a little milk cake or milk carton box with drawers. So I added some little thumb notches um, for the drawers so it's easy to open. I even layered the bottom here. I used the Sweet Story collection to do the decorating. And then I um, just, you know, used some stickers and some bling. Uh, I did cut the top off so I cut it down an inch. And then I just added some lace ribbon here and I poked some smaller holes and then I just did some uh, light decorating on the side here and that is it this Super tutorial I'm so excited for the year will bring and um, again make sure you check out the original videos of what my inspiration is and if there's something that you guys see that you would like to see me recreate for you because you don't have the dies or you don't have a cutting machine drop me a message and let me know what it is and i'll put that in my itinerary for your next day wednesday Happy. and again guys it'll be the last wednesday of every month make sure you check out all the lovely ladies in the description box for the lineup and check out what creations that they had recreated again everything is handmade no machine no dies so i hope you guys enjoy this series and thanks so much for hanging out with me today see you in the next video bye